home to an incomparable combination of natural beauty, rugged wilderness, majestic peaks, abundant wildlife, and the world's largest concentration of geysers and thermal features, it's no wonder Yellowstone was named America's first national park. <clears throat> On March 1, 1872, Yellowstone became the first national park for all to enjoy the unique hydrothermal and geologic features. Yellowstone National Park is an American national park located in the western United States, largely in the northwest corner of Wyoming and extending into Montana and Idaho. Within Yellowstone's 2.2 million acres, visitors have unparalleled opportunities to observe wildlife in an intact ecosystem, explore geothermal areas that contain about half the world's active geysers, and view geologic wonders like the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River. While Native Americans have lived in the Yellowstone region for at least 11,000 years, aside from visits by mountain men during the early to mid-19th century, organized exploration did not begin until the late 1860s. The park is so big that it sprawls into three U.S. states. Encompassing a whopping 3,472 square miles, Yellowstone National Park spans three states, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana, though it's mostly in the former. The park is also larger than Rhode Island and Delaware, combined. Yellowstone became a national park almost 20 years before Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana became official U.S. states. Yellowstone officially became a national park 18 years before Wyoming or Idaho, and 17 years before Montana were granted statehood. It got its name from Native Americans, who were referring to the yellow sandstone along the Yellowstone River. <coughs> People tend to assume that Yellowstone got its name from the vivid yellow colors seen in the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. As it turns out, however, the park's moniker stems from the sandstone along the Yellowstone River in eastern Montana, which is actually several hundred miles downstream and northeast of the park. In the park's early days, visitors came to watch bears eat garbage. At Yellowstone's nightly bear shows, which ran from about 1890 till World War II, visitors would come and watch black and grizzly bears eat the park's garbage. They even built bleachers for the event. The park is home to the largest concentration of mammals in the lower 48 states. It's estimated that 67 different mammals, in addition to 300 bird species and 16 types of fish, live in the park. That includes mammals like grizzly bears, bison, wolves, elk, and moose. Yellowstone is the only place in the U.S. where bison have lived continuously since prehistoric times. Bison are one of the park's biggest draws, especially when they congregate on the roads, causing bison jams. The herds in Yellowstone are special, as they've lived in the park continuously since prehistoric times. The park is situated over a supervolcano that is capable of a magnitude 8 eruption. In fact, the supervolcano has had three massive eruptions, the first occurring some 2.1 million years ago. While the volcano remains active today, geologists are constantly monitoring it. Magma is estimated to be a mere three miles below parts of the park. Molten rock below the Earth's crust, known as magma, is estimated to be just three to eight miles beneath Sour Creek Dome and eight to 12 miles beneath Mallard Lake Dome. Yellowstone is home to half of the world's hydrothermal features, from hot springs to geysers. According to the U.S. Department of the Interior, the park is tasked with preserving more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, including hot springs, geysers, fumaroles, mud pots, and travertine terraces. The vibrant colors you see in the park come from trillions of microorganisms called thermophiles. <coughs> These microorganisms, which love the heat and are impossible to see with the naked eye, come together to create vibrant mats of color that give thermal features like hot springs and geysers their bright look. Yellowstone's hot springs are so hot and acidic that they can dissolve a human body in a single day. In 2016, a visitor fell into a Yellowstone hot spring, and 24 hours later, his body dissolved. The time between Old Faithful's eruptions has lengthened. Old Faithful, the park's most famous geyser, got its name for the reliability and regularity of its eruptions. But over the last few decades, the time between eruptions has lengthened and become less predictable. That said, it still erupts around 17 times a day, sometimes reaching a height of 184 feet. Every time Old Faithful goes off, spectators can expect a show that lasts anywhere between 90 seconds and 5 minutes. Every year, between 700 and 3,000 earthquakes occur in Yellowstone, but most are too small to feel. While Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active areas in the U.S., the quakes are so small that you likely won't feel them. 
the park's temperature swings from below freezing to burning hot. The weather in the park is dramatic, with record lows at minus 66 degrees Fahrenheit and record highs at 99 degrees. Yellowstone is home to hundreds of waterfalls and at least 900 miles of hiking trails. While Yellowstone contains at least 45 named waterfalls, there are estimated to be hundreds more. You can visit some of the park's well-known and lesser-known falls by hiking on the approximately 900 miles of trails. The park also has almost 2,000 archaeological sites. <clears throat> there are an estimated 1,850 archaeological sites in the park, some of which show that people began traveling through the area more than 11,000 years ago. If you want, you can visit two national parks in one day, Grand Teton National Park is just 10 miles from Yellowstone. Just keep in mind that while the two parks are just 10 miles apart, it takes just over an hour to make the drive.